What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome fishing video and today I've got a very good video for you guys planned today. We're going to be going off and fishing right after school today and uh, I'm going to go down fish. I'm taking down some soft plastic swim baits that you guys have been seeing me fish with a lot recently and catching a lot of fish on them and then I'm also today it's very good weather outside the sun is up and everything and I'm going to try to catch my very first frog fish of the year of 2019 today I'm going to, I'm going to take I'm taking down the uh, the old live target hollow belly frog in black you guys know my favorite frog fishing color and I'm gonna go down and see if I can catch my first fish of 2019 on a frog so other than that we're gonna head down to the pond and see if we can catch some fish alrighty guys well we just got down here to the pond as you guys can tell and uh, this is what I'm gonna be starting off with I haven't thrown this bait in quite some time actually and I want to get back to it I know these baits will definitely get bit um, and it looks it looks like a time where they would definitely excel so pretty much what we've got here we've got a little Kitek style swim bait right here with a little paddle tail and uh, a little I believe this is a four aught uh, swim bait worm hook with a 3 8 or 3 16 ounce uh, weight on there weighted swim bait hook so that's that I'm just gonna be like casting out you guys have seen me fish this pond quite often and uh, yeah so I'm gonna get back to it and uh, we're gonna try to catch some fish oh we got one guys we got one. Oh, there we go oh I wasn't even trying to really catch this fish but he hit it as soon as it hit the water and I believe I probably scared another one off of there while bringing them in. I had to kind of like cast right in between here and uh, man that was a second cast too but I really wish I wouldn't have scared that fish because I believe there's a fish right in here that I caught last time. It was about a three and a half pounder. Um, I didn't weigh him last time but I do have a skill this time but not too bad. Not too shabby right there. Toss that guy back. Within the first I've been recording for two minutes and 30 seconds so Hopefully that means we're going to have a good little hour and a half fishing session today. Again, on that swim bait. And I hope that that fish that I spooked, I brought, I had to bring him over this tree and, or this little lay down right here. You guys can see. And I'm hoping that that fish is still there and I might be able to like flip in there and catch him or whatever. But that's what, actually what I was going for. So I'm going to see if I can... Maybe just reel them on top and see if I can get that fish to blow up. Alrighty guys, so hopefully y'all uh, y'all can still hear me. There's a little bit of wind coming now. But I am currently transitioning from this swim bait that I was throwing. Again, I caught one fish on it, so not too bad. Um, caught it on my second cast of the day too. Um, and I wasn't even really going for that fish. I was trying to cast a little bit. I was trying not to make as far as a cast and catch a fish, but, you know, oh well, oh well. Um, but I'm transitioning now to throwing the little froggy here. Um, I've, I've seen lots of people on Instagram and everybody catching frogfish, um, and so I'm going to see if it's time for me to start throwing a frog. And uh, you guys know me. I love my li live target. I believe that's the company, live target. Hoppers live target that's how I remember it. yeah so the live target hollow belly frog it's a great frog um, I'll probably be doing a review over this frog here very soon um, possibly let me know if you guys want to uh, to see that but transitioning into, into this this is my favorite frog that I've ever owned caught tons of fish on it and uh, that's what we're gonna attempt to catch our first frog fish of 2019 on so Hopefully we'll be able to catch a couple frogfish or maybe even at least one um, and get on the board for the 2019 frogging season. But uh, on that, I just finished tying it up. Make sure not to leave any trash. Always keep your, uh, your tag ins. Put them in your backpack or whatever. And uh, we're going to try to catch some fish on a little old froggy. We got one, guys. We got him. 
There we go, guys. Not a big fish by all means. Got to bring him through some grass, though. Did you look at that? Wow, he was mighty thin. Holy cow, guys. Look at that. But you know what we did with this fish? You know what this fish accomplished? Although it is a... It's, it's about a one-pounder, I guess I'd say. This is the first fish of... This is my first frogfish of the 2019 fishing season, and he is mighty feisty. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Absolutely choked the frog right there. Look at that. Wow. Alrighty, guys. There is another look at that fish right there. Absolutely engulfed the frog. I mean, the blow-up was crazy um i saw him blow up on something i'm not really sure what it is what it was but i saw him back over here right along the bank uh right next to some weeds threw it in the weeds and kind of like brought it out of him because that can be a really good technique uh, one it doesn't make a splash and then two it looks natural it looks like a frog coming out of the weeds to the pads and everything and this guy exploded on it like i said not too big but still Still a good fish. I'm getting back in the water. There he goes. That is the first frogfish of the year for me. Um, that was super cool. And it came, you guys know what frog it came on. Obviously, the live target Hello Billy frog. I highly recommend these frogs. They are very, they're pretty expensive. They're like $12 or $13 for one, but they are well worth it. Great quality on there great quality hooks got a couple of these and they work phenomenally so phenom phenomenously phenomenous phenom i can't say the word now but there he goes it's a great frog highly recommend it and uh i'm gonna see if i can get one more fish or maybe even two or five or 20 you know well we're, we're gonna try to catch some more fish pretty much Oh, we got him, guys. Oh, there we go. That's fish number three right there. Wow, look at that. Not even a big one at all. Just barely even able to uh, to get the frog in his mouth. And no wonder he missed it the first time. He had been, this fish, guys, had been blowing up on who knows what for the past 10 minutes. And I kept looking over here wondering what where, where the fish was whoa look at him he is he's a feisty one look at that not too big but look at that absolutely choked the frog hammered it for a little guy um and i kept looking over here and the grass is kind of starting to really build up right here along the uh along the bank and i kept looking for where that where the blow-ups were and so i decided just Heck, I'm just going to cast anywhere along the bank, and I'll see if there, if he blows up on it, and look at that, he did. So, awesome fish. I'm going to kind of toss him out, because it's kind of, you know, like shallow right here. But, uh, oh, oh, what's he doing? There we go. But, awesome fish, again, on the frog, and it was like, there, that was a probably three minute difference uh, on catching that fish. So, from the last fish, you know, but... And that, I'm gonna, I'm actually thinking, I'm actually, you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of thinking out loud here in the, uh, in the middle of a video right now. But I think I'm gonna, this, this area right here is very open space. And there's, I keep casting over here thinking that there's gonna be a fish, uh, in this little open, open pocket area. But I don't get any blowups. And so I think a swim bait, switching back to that little swim bait would really, be good so that's what i'm going to do right now set the frog down retie on the swim bait and hopefully i'll be able to uh, catch another fish on that oh my gosh guys oh my gosh that's a good fish oh my gosh holy cow guys oh my gosh that's a oh my gosh he, the hook just came out that's a four pounder right there that is a four pounder right there. Holy cow, guys. Look at that. 
That's a, actually that's not a four pounder. That's probably a two and a half, three pounder. That is, that's solid. Look at that, guys. Hey guys, check out that big old mama. I'm gonna get the weight on her. I've got my scale. I'm thinking about probably three and a half pounds or so. I don't really know. This is a pretty good one though. You guys can tell. Three pounds, 13 ounces. So almost a four pounder right there, guys. Whoa, I can't, uh, there was something that just dropped. Four pounder right there. Look at that right there, guys. Awesome fish. I'm gonna get the release right now. Did a whole bunch of switching back and forth from GoPro to everything right there. Off, the, off she goes right back there. That's awesome. Caught her on that swim bait. Where's that swim bait? Tied the swim bait back on and uh, caught that big old, big old mama. So that's awesome. I'm going to keep fishing for just a little bit more, a couple more minutes. That's fish number four for the day. And uh, I'm getting a little hungry. I'm getting a little hungry right now, guys. So I'm going to rig this back up and uh, clean off my hands a little bit from all these little pieces of grass and uh, get back out there and see if we can catch another fish. Oh, we got another one, guys. We got another guy. Little guy this time. Oh, yes. There we go, guys. That is fish number five. I would have a five fish limit by now. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Look at that right there wasn't really even expecting to catch another fish i've already caught four fish actually five fish now four of them being this size and then obviously you guys just saw that one pretty uh like three four pounder there we go right back there just hit it there's there's kind of like a little grass mat out here that's kind of like spread out and spruced up i guess you could say and uh, i'm just kind of reeling it through there and that's where that guy hit it, so that's it's pretty cool. The rod and reel combo that I'm using today is the 13 Fishing Defy Black. You guys hear me preach about these rods. 7.3 medium heavy. I use this rod like I use one of two, one or two of these rods like 90% of the time I'm fishing, you know, for bass at least. And they're just great rods. Um, and the reels are the same. 13 fishing origin a 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reel awesome setup actually i think it's an 8 1 to 1 yeah 8 1 to 1 gear ratio reel and uh yeah if you, if you guys hadn't told from the very beginning a little kitex swim bait a little uh, swim bait hook and uh that's that's a rod and reel combo right there we're gonna see if we can get fish number six and then i believe i might head out of here so it's been a great day so far though Alrighty guys, well I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I caught I believe five fish and one being like almost a four pounder. Three ounces, three ounces away from being four pounds. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to check out any of the apparel that I wear throughout the fishing season, go check out Fly South Apparel. The link is down in the description to their Instagram and website. You guys can go check it out. Pick up a couple things. At least follow them on Instagram. Awesome company. Awesome guys over there and support the channel. Um, and then also go check out Imitator Baits. Um, we've only got a couple of the uh, limited edition bed fishing jig so go check those out if you haven't already if the spawn is still happening in your area and hopefully the spawn is going to be happening for me i've been fishing quite a bit lately um or trying to get out and fish quite a bit as as much as possible and i haven't been seeing a whole lot of beds yet um so hopefully they'll, they'll start to show up and uh, and that i'll catch you guys on the next episode of lmb nation peace guys